Have you ever looked at the sky after a storm and witnessed the beauty of a rainbow? This is a symbol of better days ahead, a promise from the heavens that no matter how fierce the storm, there is always a reason to keep faith. If you believe that God has better days ahead for you and that he can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Let us embark on a journey of hope and faith under the guiding light of the Word of God. My friends, for all of us who trust God and have been praying, we are about to step into a new season of better days and open doors. In the book of Jeremiah, 29 verse 11 to 12, we find a powerful assurance. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. These verses are a beacon of light in our darkest times. It reassures us that our current struggles are not our final destination. There is a plan for each of us, a plan filled with hope and prosperity. My friends, God has a plan to confound all your enemies and naysayers. Think of Joseph, sold into slavery by his own brothers, wrongly imprisoned, yet never losing faith. In Genesis, 50 verse 20, Joseph says, But as for you, you meant evil against me. But God meant it for good. His story is a testament that our current trials can be the birthplace of our greatest victories. In this new season of your life, God is about to open doors of opportunity, turning everything around so that things start to work in your favor, not against you. My friends, better days are ahead. Let's not forget the story of Job, a man who lost everything he had. Yet, in the midst of his suffering, he declared in Job 19 verse 25, For I know that my Redeemer lives, and he shall stand at last on the earth. Job's unwavering faith in the face of adversity is a powerful example for us all. Just as God changed Job's situation, and opened new doors of opportunity, blessings, and favor, he is ready to do the same for you. Consider the walls of Jericho in Joshua 6, verse 20. They seemed unshakable, yet they fell, not by force, but by faith and obedience. This story teaches us that no obstacle is too great when we walk in faith and follow God's guidance. In the book of Isaiah, 43 verse 2, we find comfort and strength. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. This verse is a reminder that in our journey through life, we are never alone. Think of David, a young shepherd boy who defeated Goliath a giant warrior. In 1 Samuel 17, verse 37, David says, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. His courage and faith in the face of a seemingly impossible challenge is an inspiration for us all. My dear friends, God has already done it, and surely He can deliver again. It's time for your deliverance, even amidst the seemingly difficult challenges you face. You are moving into a season of open doors. Just step out in faith and claim the blessings. Let's reflect on the story of Esther, a queen who risked her life to save her people. In Esther 4, verse 14, we find the words, and who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Esther's bravery and faith in a critical moment 
changed the course of history. In the book of Psalms 30, verse 5, we find a promise of joy. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This verse teaches us that our sorrows are not everlasting, that joy is on the horizon. Finally, in the book of Revelation 21, verse 4, we are given a glimpse of the ultimate better days ahead, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. This is the ultimate promise of hope and restoration. As we stand together, let us hold onto these promises. Let us pray with conviction, knowing that our current struggles are just a chapter in our story. Let us lift our hearts and voices in prayer, confident in the knowledge that indeed better days are ahead. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to listen to this prayer as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and power. I praise you for your unending grace and the boundless love you shower upon us. Your greatness fills the heavens and the earth and there is none like you, O Lord. I thank you for your countless blessings, for the air I breathe, the life I live, and the hope you instill in my heart that better days are ahead. You are the source of all good things, and for this I am eternally grateful. In your presence, I humbly seek forgiveness for my sins. Cleanse my heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and resentment. In this moment of prayer, I lay down all my burdens at your feet, trusting in your mercy and love. Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus that today is a day of renewal and hope. As you promised in Jeremiah 29, Verse 11, I believe you have plans for me, plans to prosper me and not to harm me. I rebuke any form of despair or discouragement, binding them in Jesus' name. I am confident that better days lie ahead, filled with your blessings and favor. Help me to step out in faith, making good of every open door and opportunity bringing glory and honor to your kingdom. In every challenge I face, I ask for strength and perseverance. Like Joseph, who endured trials, yet remained faithful, I pray for the grace to see your hand in all situations. I rebuke every plan of the enemy to bring me down, and I declare victory over every challenge. I declare... In the name of Jesus, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, for I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. I pray for courage and bravery, like Queen Esther, to face the challenges of every passing day. Grant me wisdom to make the right choices and the boldness to stand for what is right. I rebuke the spirit of fear and timidity in the name of Jesus. I declare that I am a child of the King, anointed and appointed for such a time as this. I pray for joy and peace that surpasses understanding. In moments of sorrow, remind me of your promise in Psalms 30. Verse 5, the joy comes in the morning. I declare that my weeping is only for a night, and joy is my portion in this new season. I rebuke every spirit of sadness and depression, and I embrace the joy of the Lord, which is my strength. Lord, 
As I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come together in agreement, knowing that you are in our midst, as you promised. We pray for each other, asking that your blessings, healing, and protection be upon us. May we experience your presence in a mighty way. For my loved ones, I pray that they too will be covered by your grace and mercy. Bless them, protect them, and guide their steps. May they also experience the joy of your salvation and the peace that comes from walking with you. Keep them safe in your loving arms. Lord, I declare healing over my body and mind. I rebuke every sickness and disease in the name of Jesus. I claim victory over my health, believing that by your stripes I am healed. Protect me from all harm and danger, and let your Holy Spirit guide me throughout this day. Lord, we commit our days in your gracious and mighty hand. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus, you can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel, Daily Jesus Prayers, for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.